What is up people, it's your boy Openite and today I am returning with a Gengar team. Now, if you guys don't know why I'm featuring Gengar of all Pokemon, it's my favorite mon of all time and I am on almost a life mission to find a way to make Gengar good and this whole series is just centered around finding the perfect set and the perfect team that makes Gengar tick and obviously that's gonna be a long journey because well Gengar isn't the strongest mod in the meta right now and not to mention Gengar losing a levitate was definitely a big blow because Curse body is not as good but we still keep chugging along uh, but moving on to the first Pokemon we have a Landorus with a Focus Sash now you guys know I hate Landorus, right? This thing, I hate seeing it, and I never really developed much of an appreciation for it, except more recently. Now, let me explain. I don't like Landorus as a Pokemon, mostly because it's everywhere, but there's one thing about Landorus that I come to appreciate, and it's the fact that this is probably the most versatile Pokemon to ever exist, period. It, this thing has a ground immunity because it's a flying type. This thing has an electric immunity because it's a ground type. It has one of the most broken abilities in the game in the form of Intimidate. And it actually has pretty decent uh, stats. So, and also 145 attack, like even with no investment, that reaches 326. And we don't even have the nature for it, which is pretty insane. So. Landris is just the king of versatility. That's kind of why I'm going with it here. Now we have Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Explosion, and Sword Stance, which is your standard lead, suicide lead Landris set. This is the only Landris that I like to use. I have, I'm trying to incorporate Spadef Lando a little bit, but that's kind of like on the back burner. And for this theme, this is just what I'm going with. It does what it does, and it also really helps us out against electric types because of us being able to spam Earthquake, so there's that. But if not, usually Explosion just gets a kill and just does what it does. Now, moving on to the main MVP of the team, Gengar. Now, today, I'm running a Life Orb. Last time I recall, I ran Choice Specs, and that was more of like a balanced build, but today we're straight up going with Hyper Offense. Uh, as you guys will see. Now Gengar with a life orb does a lot of work. This set might be a little interesting to you, so let me explain. Nasty plot, obviously we nasty plot up to raise the special attack by two. It's probably, I think, the only setup move that Gengar gets. Um, Shadow Ball is here for stab. And instead of sludge wave, I am going for icy wind because if you look at the tier, one, two, three. Okay, maybe Torn if it's like slow, but it's almost never slower than Gengar. But the point is, Icy Wind hits a lot of Pokemon that like to come in on Gengar, kind of like Dragonite, Garchomp, and we are able, and even Landers, right? We're able to nail this thing with an Icy Wind if we're able to plot up, and even if we don't plot up. Icy Wind does significant damage to all of those because they're all super weak to ice. That's why I'm running Icy Wind, so pretty special tech. Now Focus Blast is probably the only other move I should run on this set. I, Once again, I could still run Sludge Wave. I just don't think fairies are much of a problem for me for this team because I do have a Heatran, so there's that. But Focus Blast helps us nail Ferrothorn, Melmetal, all of which are pretty big problems for this team. So this thing can serve as a wall breaker or as a late game sweeper, depending on how things go. Moving on, Heatran with the leftovers. Now this is your standard offensive Heatran set, except instead of Toxic, I'm running Stealth Rock. The double rocks is really good because if I sack Lando, at least I have the chance to set up rocks with Heatran and Toxic just doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Uh, when I tested it out. I think it's better for like slower teams that can incorporate an offensive Heatran. But this Heatran in particular, it's 
eh, it's uh, I don't think it's very good, which is why I'm going with Stealth Rock. Magma Storm is to trap anything that can annoy us, and also it, you know it deals with Ferrothorn and stuff like that. Earth Power is, I mean, this is just your standard set. You'll see how it works when, well, hopefully I get a run with Heatran and then you can see how it works. Now, Coco with the choice specs here today. And I'm running the typical Coco set, except instead of Grass Knot, I'm running Defog because uh, I think I lost to a web steam pretty bad. And I think this uh, being able to remove hazards is just really important, so which is why I'm running Defog. But apart from that, pretty standard Coco. This thing needed this team needed a wall breaker, which is why I'm going with this. I mean, uh, if you if you look at this team from a role composition basis, we have a lead, we have a sweeper slash wall breaker, we have a wall breaker, I guess. Feature and it's also secondary rocker, and then we have a. Actually no, I don't know what what, what Heatran kind of does with this team. Hmm. Anyway, Coco is our main wall breaker uh, because these like Heatran is kind of more like a so, kind of a support mod, I guess. So Coco is really able to help us get a lot of KOs. This team is uh, does not like uh, tornadoes, for instance, and Coco can deal with that. But moving on, Dragonite. Uh, this is our main setup sweeper, excluding Gengar, or I should say our physical setup sweeper. This is a pretty old set actually, I think this set is from Gen 6, and I'm just running it here because I just hate the regular, what is that, the Ice Punch Earthquake Gurus. I just don't, I don't like, I know, no, look, I know that Dragon Dance, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Roos is the meta Dragonite set. The thing is, I just don't like running it because I think... I think Pokemon being able to use at least one of their stab moves is what is how they really gain their power, you know? So on the basis of that, Dragon Claw destroys anything that Fire Punch and Earthquake can't. Earthquake is for stuff like, I mean, just Steel types, like, you know, Melmetal or anything. And Fire Punch is, I mean, Fire Punch and Earthquake kind of more or less do the same thing except Fire Punch is more for like Heatran, Corviknight, uh, all those bitches and Earthquake is more for like, uh, I mean I guess if you get like enough DDs off you could also Earthquake a, a Ferrothorn but you know, Earthquake is also for Heatran so there's that. Now finally we have a Blucephalon to kind of cover the double ghost coverage. Now I don't think Gengar is probably the best ghost partner for Blucephalon, people usually like to run Dragapult instead. But Blucephalon's not bad, it gives us a secondary fire coverage and between Overheat, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball and Trick we can... This thing puts in a lot of work honestly. Shadow Ball is, uh, well obviously it's Stab and Overheat is just to get a really powerful 130 base power fire attack off and Trick is to cripple anything that can annoy us, including Kama and Clefable. So that's the whole team. Uh, as far as how effective this team is, Eh, I think this team is definitely still missing a few elements, mostly because I rarely get a chance to set up and go to town with Gengar. I think Gengar is kind of like, like for instance, I set go into Landorus, I set up rocks, and then Im almost immediately, if, if, if I want to get Gengar into the match at all, after Landorus dies, I just have to go into Gengar and then set a nasty plot up, and it's not always the best thing to do, but like I said, this team is built in this in the in the spirit of making Gengar powerful so hopefully I get a few matches that really help showcase all of this team really um, we'll see how it goes it is uh, it is a Sunday morning early upload for me because I might be doing something later so that's why I'm here okay that Halucha looks mighty mighty scary right um, so I have to make sure I keep my Coco alive because Coco eats anything from a plus two Halucha and will be able to destroy it with a World Switch. Reggie Lucky is super, super annoying for this team. Uh, so I have to make sure I keep Landers healthy. In fact, Landers has to stay healthy for Coco and Reggie Lucky. So I have to keep that in mind. On the other side, if I destroy as much as I can on a steam shadow ball can sweep. I just have to make sure that Reggie Lucky is also dead first. 
if that doesn't work out, then I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Heatran can come in handy against Ferrothorn, but I don't really think it's doing... Eh, yeah, Heatran's pretty decent, I guess. But let's leave Lando. So it goes into this. I want to set up rocks because he's probably going to do the same. Or he misses a Toxic. So now he's going to set up rocks, right? Uh, so he's going to set up rocks now. Let's go into Tapu Koko. If he Earthquakes, he's a god. So he, Okay, that's fine. I don't really care. And then, oh fuck, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Damn, that was a really risky play because I needed to keep this thing healthy for Halucha, but I think it's fine. Uh, I think I'll, he's going to go into Ferrothorn, so I'll just U-turn out. Or not. Wow. Okay. I guess today we really aren't caring about anything. He's, he's probably going to Earthquake here. I think I want to go into Dragonite. Yep. Expected. And then... Hmm... Why, why would you stay in, dude? I like I was the U-turn that obvious that you thought you could stay in? Jesus! All right, I think it's time to break with this thing, so I'll probably just DD up here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and then here, I think I can earthquake pretty safely. Should be fine. Or actually, I could go for another DD here. So why not? I don't think the the Reggie Lucky is what will be able to beat me, in, uh, but I think it's fine. Or, yeah, I guess he goes into Ferrothorn and then gives me a, a crap ton of damage. Let's fire punch you. Yep, bye bye. So, no more Ferrothorn, which is pretty amazing for Shadow Ball. Um, dude, why did you go into this? Just to show you a Dragon Claw. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, he's gonna go into Coco. Um, and then I think this is where I hit. Ooh, what do I even hit? I think he's gonna. Click Dazzling Gleam. Or he could switch into Halucha. I don't know if I enjoy that Halucha play, but I think I'll be fine. Yeah, he clicks Dazzling Gleam, so it's time to go into you and then hit Shadow Ball. Ooh, okay, good to know. Ooh, that, that did not do enough. Damn. Uh, I'm not surprised though. So, let's see. I sack this thing, right? Okay, so that's disable awesome. And then I think now I just click Shadow Ball. And then if his Halucha comes in, I don't think it's gonna have a very good time. And so that's why I have this thing for. That's why I have a land. I could go into Landris, but I wanna save it for the Reggie Lucky. Okay, does Halucha kill me with Acrobatics? Let's see. Uh, my Blusef, I think it does. Should be able to. Um. Acrobatics. Oh, it doesn't. Re okay, wait. No, it's it's already activated unburdened, so it should be twice its power. Okay, so that does do a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, while I was doing my calcs, it looks like my opponent just decided to forfeit. Um, I don't know. That's a. I think that's a little premature. I definitely think this was not so clear cut because, okay, so if he, let's think about this, right? If he acrobatics and he kills this, I go into Coco, Coco takes nothing and then destroys this thing back. And then, okay, okay, yeah, I think Heatran could have won by just clicking Earth Power or even Landorus to be honest. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can see why he quit. Crazy game though, so... Um, we set up Roxy, and this is a Toxic, but it really didn't matter. Um, this is a... I was gonna sack that Landers at some point anyway. So he gets a Toxic off, and then... Absolutely big balls play to stay in on this. Not that... I don't know if this thing did a lot for me, but anyway. We get a chance to go into Dragonite, and then he switches out. While I get the chance to DD up. I don't know why he switched out. I think he should've gone for Toxic, but it's whatever. So he does that, and then we click Earthquake because, you know, it's Victini is slower than this thing. And then we Fire Punch to destroy this. So Dragapult actually did pretty, I mean, not Dragapult, Dragon Knight did pretty decent work. And then he went into this thinking, you know, I don't have Dragon Claw, which I do. Or, you know, just anything to hit this with. And then goes into Coco. I wanted him to Dazzling Gleam so that I could go into Gengar after. So, I mean, that's why I made this play. And then I'm going to Gengar. Unfortunately, Shadow Ball was not able to get the kill, but I think we got the chip that we needed. So, so this is what I mean by Gengar, right? Like, 
okay pause i could give this thing a choice specs and make it you know hit harder but life orb is the only thing that i can give it that makes it hit as hard as it can without sacrificing its move pool right and it's just unable to get like these important ko's on pokemon that it should be destroying like coco even though like i mean look at this this thing has an advantage or i guess i'm not running sludge wave so i definitely have myself to blame for that but Shadow Ball should be able to do work, and the thing is Shadow Ball, even though it's base 80 power, it's just not enough sometimes. Even with the Life Orb, even with Gengar having, what, 130 special attack. It's just how it is. But at least Blissephalon is able to get, get the pickup. I mean, get the pickup. Get the kill. Pick up the kill. There we go. Jesus. Um, and then, yeah, my opponent just resigned. So, pretty solid game. Um, but... Okay, so... I'm gonna guess that's another Scarf Blissephalon, which I'm kind of realizing I'm super, super duper weak to. That means I gotta keep, I really have to keep Heatran healthy. Oh, <sighs> jeez, okay. He could also be Specs, actually. Because Zero Aura could be the speed control for the team, which means he could be running Specs on this thing instead. In which case, I think uh Blissephalon probably has a better matchup but anyway we do what we do um i don't think i'm too worried about the okay so this is not a problem for me oh ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah no you're not doing that i'm gonna she's gonna dd up yep expected um but i don't think that's faster than coco I think a dazzling gleam here no matter what yeah there we go okay so that got the kill <laughs> dd dragon is definitely a little scary for this team uh so unfortunately because we sacked my okay actually i could go into dragonite so originally i was running all sorts of other shit on this team so i didn't have a secondary flying type but now i do which means i this thing, okay, so Dragonite can technically sweep from here. We'll see. We'll see how it does. Okay, so he goes for a knockoff. I guess he doesn't have Toxic then. Um, can I DD up again? If he has Toxic, I'm kind of fucked. That's a thing. Hopefully he doesn't have Toxic. Don't have Toxic. Oh, so he... Oh, okay. Um, I think I'll Dragon Claw here. That destroys. Cool. So he has to go into Ferrothorn. Um, I think, okay, I don't know why he went to do this, that I just, oh, yes, Sash, okay, good to know. So he destroys Ferrothorn, I mean, not Ferrothorn, sorry, his Zero Aura for some reason. Um, I think this is where I go into you and then click Shadow Ball. Should be able to pick up, please, Spidef Drop, Spidef Drop. Oh, no, nah, no Spidef Drops. Unfortunate, but I think I don't really need Heatran for much anymore. Mm, or I could go into Gengar. Gengar is another decent play. I think I'm fine to knock off. Cool. Okay, so I disabled that. Time to click Shadow Ball. Yeah. Okay, this is really nice for Gengar. I mean, not Gengar, sorry. Uh, for Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not scared of that. This is really nice for Blacephalon. So he has to give me something now. So it goes into this. Um, and then I Focus Blast. Please get the kill. There we go. So Gengar put in a lot of work here against the Pex. It goes into Zero Aura. I don't think I'm scared of this. Should I be scared of this? Hmm. Now let's go to Coco. He's probably gonna knock, right? Or what, what did he do? Oh, Plasma? Okay, that's fine too. Shouldn't do all that much. I'll be able to U-turn here. I think, I really think that Blacephalon is not is Specs, but I really could be wrong. Either way, I gotta keep this Heatran alive. That's the most important thing. Okay, so Shadow Ball does a lot, or does enough, I guess. He calls me. I think he's gonna recover here, right? So I think a nasty plot here. There we go. And then he clicks recover just like I expected. Now I'm gonna get a really, really big hit off. 
Yep. And then it's... Oh, he clicks recover again. Wow. Yay. Ah, packs are so annoying. Uh, I think here I... You turn out. He should definitely switch into Dujero. Or not, I guess. Actually, I could, I could just click Earth. But what am I doing? I'll just click Earth Power here. Yeah, there we go. You can call me all you want, bro. It's not doing anything. This is definitely gonna... Re Actually, I should set up rocks. Yeah, there we go. That that destroys his arrow aura. So he has nothing for that. And then now I can quite happily click this. Cool. So his Blacephalon is definitely dead. Um. Okay, here's hoping he is... If he Scarf, I, I lost anyway. So I'm hoping he Specs. Okay, so he turned... Yeah, you know... That's just how it is. I, I don't know what I could have done. I could have maybe saved the Dragonite, but if he's Scarf, I kind of predicted he might be Scarf. It was always going to be a tough matchup like that. Um, but yeah, I have to forfeit this one. So, lesson learned. This team, super weak to Scarf plus Ephelon because the fastest mod that I got is a Scarf plus F. And if I sack the Dragonite... Um, I mean, this is gonna happen. I really don't know what I could have done though. Uh, the Zero Aura being focused has definitely fucked me up. I I didn't know why he even went for that one. I I really thought he would go to the Ferrothorn instead of this thing. So he does that. I think he didn't definitely didn't expect the Stealth Rock from the Heatran though. I probably should have done that earlier. I think I also forgot. So he destroys that, and then I go into this. That Pex was so annoying. Gosh. If I was Pex, this thing was gonna get destroyed. Um, but we managed to get some- We actually managed to get some mileage out of Gengar. Even though we couldn't get the victory at the end. That's- see, once again, this is what I'm talking about. I- I- like, you guys know how much I love Gengar. I don't even need to explain it. The problem it, with this Mon is it's just- it's just not doing enough. Like, yes, it got the KO. Yes, it completely dented Toxapex. But as you can see, these mons are so fucking broken that even with all the predictions that I can make, it's just not enough. Uh, crazy Toxapex play by him, though. Um, but also, I kind of predicted the, the recover from this thing, which is why I went for the Nasty Plot. See, it was just always going to be a tough matchup in a game like this. Maybe I shouldn't have sacked Heatran. Let's let's just... Okay, so that was crazy. Okay, so he killed this. I think I think I should have gone into Heatran here. And then set up rocks. And then gone into Coco. Set up rocks, go into Coco. And then I think because Heatran can take one Shadow Ball from Blacephalon. Okay, so I, okay, let's see. So I set up rocks after Earth Power. I set up rocks. So it took a turn. Okay, yeah, that's that's where I fucked up. Yeah, that's definitely where I fucked up. Uh, I think I should have kept the Heatran at at least like fifty percent health because I think it can take a sh two Shadow Bolts from this thing. So yeah, I probably should have threatened. The I should have set up Rocks first and then gone into Coco and then just spam Thunderbolt. Could have won from there. Damn, that was a pretty bad choke. <laughs> but we live and learn. I also haven't really used this team a whole lot, so. I'm learning as I go. Okay, so this guy, pretty standard team. Um, let's leave it land risk. It looks like I won't really need it for much except for Coco. Coco is annoying, but I think Heatran can take care of it. Um, let's just lead Lando. I think it should be fine. Then throw up rocks. He throws up his rock or not. Then I SD up. And then explode. Cool. So his heat turn is dead, which means Coco goes crazy. If he goes into Slowking, he's the boss, but I don't think he's gonna go into Slowking. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He did. He really went to Slowking. Um, so what is this a chance for? So the good news is Shadow Ball sweep is definitely possible. Um 
So is Dragonite actually. I think I she's gonna go for Future Sight or something. Let's just go into Heatran. Uh, not you know, no risky plays. Or it goes to Sludge Bomb and completely fucks up. Um I think here I want a Magma Storm. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, yes, Earthquake. But that's not gonna do much. Oh damn, that he actually destroyed me with that. Really? Okay, well, Scar plus F time. Time to just Shadow Ball. I think this should be enough damage. Even if he gets like Regenerator. Cool. So that destroys him. Yeah, he really has no switch ins for this thing. Dude, come on. 1%. Are you kidding me? Really? He's gonna go into that fucking Urshifu. Yeah. Um. Aqua Jet, um, and then a U-turn out. Okay, that's also fine by me. Here I get a chance to DD. I should probably make this thing jolly because after plus one, it's just not doing enough to Coco, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so he goes into Coco straight up, and I think I'm fine here with just clicking Okay, let's see how much Dazzling Gleam does if this thing is Specs, right? So, sorry, not Dazzling. Coco against my Dragonite. So Dazzling Gleam does nothing, which means I can definitely go for another DD. And then after that, Earthquake him for the kill. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Oh, or he does that. And then here at Earthquake. Yep. So this is a, <laughs> this is a very nice Dragonite sweep. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, so I kind of figured this was a Dragonite game because we had coverage for everything. And also Urshifu does not really like Dragonite because Dragonite just sets up on it. Um, the really important thing was that we're able to destroy this Lando because I think Lando is probably one of Dragonite's biggest enemies, most, mostly because of Intimidate. Um, really nice slow, slow King play by him though. Um, I just wanted to put the pressure on him by just going to Coco, but it is what it is. And then somehow the Slow King actually managed to 1v1 the Heat Trend. Uh, then again, it's because it has Earthquake. And I, I don't know, maybe Offensive Heat Trend just isn't that good a pick. Maybe it's better for like balance builds than offensive builds like this. But whatever, we managed to chip it down. That's I think that's the most important thing. And then... This uh, this Shadow Ball doing, you know, 43% was very annoying though. So we did uh, 44 and then 43, like that's, I mean, that's just so painful. But it is what it is. At least we get the KO on this thing, which is also another huge problem for Dragon Knight. So he just gave me two of the biggest months that could actually threaten Dragon Knight. And then at this point, it was just a matter of going into Coco and letting this thing do whatever damage it can so that I have a chance to set up with Dragon Knight, right? Which is why I went into this and then... He didn't even kill me, which so I he I did to him what he did to me, and then I I got an even freer setup to, you know, go into Dragonite Four. Um, hope you guys like the nicknames, by the way. <laughs> um, so U turns out, which is just a choke as it is, and then after that it was just an earthquake sweep, really. Dragonite coming through, um, but I think that's it for today. I think we're on time now, so. Crazy team, guys. I really think as a core, this is pretty solid, especially between Coco, Dragonite. Uh, Lee Landers is fine. Nothing wrong with it. Coco, Dragonite, Blasef, super good. I think these two are a little bit problematic. Um, something could be like if you wanted to use this team and swap it out, completely up to you. I Life Verb Gengar, like, I think this set in particular could have been. It's definitely more useful, but against only like certain kinds of teams. Or maybe Gengar just isn't good enough. I, I mean, Gengar just needs even more support, right? Like, I think Gengar probably like does better with balance builds because you're able to, you have a chance to actually bring it in and do something with it. So, but I think it's fine either way. We did have Gengar put in a lot of work, even for that second game that we ended up losing, but it is what it is. But apart from that, I hope you guys like this team. Uh, took me quite a while to build this actually because you know Gengar teams especially with hyper offense so hard to build but so that's uh 
that's choice specs down that's life orb down i don't know i mean <laughs> what else is left choice ban i don't i could just carve after but i don't know what i'm gonna do the next gengar drop but that's it for today i hope you guys like the team and if you have any comments about the team please feel free to leave it below but if you enjoyed the video if you found it instructive leave a like and subscribe and with that i'm done so peace